Okay guys, this is our first cut, first successful cut with the Primo here, and I'm still getting it dialed in, but this is this is a sheet of one inch maple, and what I was gonna do here was <clears throat> be get all fancy and list out uh, Hello World or whatever, cut out Hello World, some, some nerd stuff, you know, you guys know how it is. So uh, my piece of maple wasn't big enough, so I just stopped it at Hello, and I just tried the uh, the print or the the pause feature on my CNC JS here. I got my uh, this, is, this is my wife's laptop. She let me use it forever. Thank you. And it's got a nice touch screen and all that stuff. So uh, just straight out the pause function on CNC JS here, and I'm using Fusion to generate the G code. Throwing that into CNC JS, and then I'm sending that over to the ramps. Did some wiring. Oh boy, we got some. Uh, we got some uh, some more dust collection to do here. We'll get that figured out. So I got the board mounted down below here, and then I got the maple cut out here. This was a sheet of one inch thick maple. And uh, at first, you can see here, I went, I went, I went, I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see what I could do. And bear with me on the echo here, just the, the way the enclosure is. I wanted to try half inch deep, uh, 30 inches a minute. 2D adaptive, and that was this deep pocket you see here. Did not do the greatest, which that's okay. I just wanted to throw it, throw a, a heavy load at it and see what it would do. Uh, so I ended up stopping that, and then I dialed it back to three eighths. And so this is this this whole thing here is, is three eighths deep, uh, 30 inches a minute, and um, 2D adaptive in Fusion. Okay, and I will say I changed another variable on, on me. I should have done this, but I also ended up going with a shorter uh, cutter here. Um, let's see here if I can get this out of the material. Um, hang on a sec here. Just had to loosen it up. Um, this is a two inch, or I'm not a, not a two inch. This is a two flute uh, spiral up cut bit here. Uh, pretty standard. I apologize for the focus here. Let's see here if we can do something. There we go. So two inch spiral up cut. Um, I have these really long bits here that um, I have from my my sub box making, which are really nice for for. Uh, flush mounting subwoofers but this long of a drill bit obviously creates more force on the router so um, I threw a, a shorter one in there as you can tell which did a lot better uh, I don't think these are anything fancy um, one thing I will say is do not cheap out on your router bits guys um, we already have the world against us when it comes to rigidity and you want to make it as easy as possible on your machine to to get to cutting here. So um, I got a couple nice ones in the bin here, but when it comes to router bits, don't get the ten for one or the the ten for ten dollar special here. You know, spend twenty twenty five bucks on a single router bit, and it will treat you well. So um, anyway, guys, I will keep posting here as I keep uh, experimenting I got some some plans here for this maple I got some walnut here as well uh, that is all a mess that will get cleaned up at some point I'm sure maybe but anyway just wanted to post a quick update here as I get cut in here and uh, yeah we will I'll keep you guys posted so yeah thanks for watching